Ching Chi Hua Tan Wan. Tan means flame. So Ching Chi. What does Chi mean? Chi means yeah, this pneuma. Chi. That Chi. Just Chi. Air Chi. So it means long. So clear long heat. Ching Chi means clear long heat. Clear long heat. This pneuma is a word, ancient Greek, meaning long and air or spirit. So very similar to the concept of chi. And hua tan means transform flame, pill. Jing chi hua tan wan. So this is tao tan tan. Can you see urchin tan here? Ban sha chen pi fling and chi shi or chi ke and nan xing. So this part is tao tan tan. This part is Tao Tan Tang. This part is Tao Tan Tang. Tao Tan Tang. Tao Tan Tang. Let's put it this way. Tao Tan Tang with Golu Huang Chin. What Huang Chin does? Huang Chin does clear heat. So this is Tao Tan Tang with clearing function, clearing action with Huang Chin. And guolo, what does it do? Guolo, remove flame. Remove flame, guolo, by nourishing flame, by moistening, moisture, moisturizing, moisturizing flame, moistening flame, guolo. And guolo also used for constipation. Guolo in, this is seed. So guolo goes to long and large intestine. Yang Ming, food Yang Ming and food Yang Ming with the same property, nourishing, moisturizing, that is Guo Lu. So it removes phlegm, nourish phlegm, and clear long heat, that is Qing Qi Hua Dan Wan. And Xing Nan is look like a cough suppressant, like jagging. So Qing Qi Hua Dan Wan is a to tao tan tang with xing nan, huang qin, and guo lu. This is qing qi hua da man. So I would say qing qi hua da man as cooling version of urchin tang. Urchin tang. So this is a cooling, cooling urchin tang with a cooling property. Chewing, wet coughing. So when you find a patient with wet coughing, you can use this Ching Chi Hua Dan Wan. So bronchitis, early stage of pneumonia or viral pneumonia. And you can use this for coronavirus infection too. Ching Chi Hua Dan Wan because Nan Xing, Ban Sha, Golu, all melt down phlegm, melt of phlegm, and Xing Nan suppressed coughing and Huang Qin release the inflammation, subside the inflammation. So this is quite a strong formula. But in my clinic, I see a lot of respiratory infection patients, but not commonly used because when they have this kind of bronchitis and pneumonia, they already visit the conventional medical clinic. So it is not a chronic condition. This is excessive condition. This is for dry coughing or the coughing which cannot spit the phlegm, sputum, because the phlegm is so thick and sticky. This is for that condition. This is subacute condition. So dry cough can mean sticky phlegm or chronic coughing with indeficiency. So Bai Mu Guolusan is urchin tongue. Again, Ban Xia, Chen Pi, Fuling. Did I tell you that this is a sticky phlegm? Do you remember? This is sticky phlegm, very less phlegm, hard to expectorate. But bansha, bansha, dries. Bansha. One of the strong functions of bansha is drying phlegm. So it melt down the phlegm, shrink the phlegm, dry out the phlegm. So it is not good for those already dried out phlegm. So we remove bansha and add some herbs which transform phlegm but 
not that dry. Doza, Golu, Tianhua Fan, and Beimu. Beimu, Tianhua Fan, and Golu. All these herbs nourish. And Tianhua Fan and Golu nourish. So these are the expectorant with nourishing property. So it is easy to remember. So I call this formula as moistening, moistening, urchin. Instead of Xingnan, Jiegang is used. Xingnan and Jiegang is the two representative herb subsiding phlegm in Sanghanan period. Period. Let's say nourishing. Nourishing. Nourishing urchin tang. Okay? This is nourishing urchin tang. So this is for sticky phlegm. Golu, Tian Hua Fan, and Tian Baimo. Tian Baimo with jigging. This is for wet coughing. This is hard to expectorate phlegm. Uh, this is another variation from urchin tang, ching chin, jiang ho tang. Jiang ho tang. Here, chin means metal. Ching chin. So, same, same formula. Very similar. Actually, this is a combination of Ching Chi Hua Dan Huan and Bei Mu Guo Lu San. It has Guao Lu and Huang Qin and Xing Nan Jie Gang, both of them. And this is commonly used formula in my office. So, I do not use either of them. I just use this one, combined one. So, convenient. This, is, this one is Ching Chin Jiang Huo Tang. Jiang Huo means releasing fire. Ching Chin means clear heat, long, clear long. Practically, this is a combination of Bei Mu Guo Lu San and Ching Chi Hua Dan Huan. And Xing Su San. Xing Su San also has urchin tang. So there are many variations from urchin tang. So Xing Su San, do you remember what Xing Su San treat? The keyword for the verdict examination, Xing Su San treat. The keyword is ticklish, ticklish throat. And coughing, tickle, and dry weather, and late autumn season. Those are the keywords board examination gives you as a clue. So this formula treat the dryness, dryness. Do you remember dryness? So urchin tongue with suye, suye release exterior. And jike is a sidekick of a champion. So you can just think, Remember this formula is a urchin tang with suye and cough suppressant, xing nan and jie geng. That is xing su san, xing su san. So when do you use this? What is the difference between this ching chi hua dan huan and bei mu gua lu san with xing su san? This is only for early stage, early stage, early stage of dry ticklish and coughing and sneezing. Because this formula has releasing exterior herb, suye. Can you find releasing exterior herbs here? No. Jiegang maybe, but this is not for releasing exterior. So Ching Chi Hua Dam Huan and Bei Mu Guo Lu San both used in subacute stage. Like was five days from onset. Four days. Sometimes a week. But this formula is used one to three days, early stage, Taiyang stage. So there is a reason we use Suye to release exterior. So that is for Sing Su San, and Sing Su San can be on your board examination with those keywords. Autumn season, and tickle, ticklish throat is the most important sign with the Sing Su San. This is for dryness. And this one is also based on urchin tongue. 